Hello, in this problem we're going to solve this differential equation. So we have dx plus xy dy plus y squared dx equals y dy. And this should be separable. It doesn't look like it is, but let's try it. So let's try to just combine um, all the dx's and the dy's. So here we have a dx, and here we have a dx. So we can pull out a dx that's gonna give us one plus y squared, and then dx. And let's take this and bring it over here. So it becomes y dy minus xy dy, right? Just subtracting it from uh, both sides. And now let's go ahead and factor out a dy here. So I'll write this again, one plus y squared dx. And that's equal to, so here we can pull out that dy. So we'll get, uh, we can pull out a y as well y, one minus x, dy. So what I did there was I pulled out the y, I pulled out the dy, and we're left with one minus x. And the goal is to get uh, all the y's on one side together with the dy, and all the x's on one side together with the dx. So I guess what we can do then um, is simply uh, divide both sides by uh, one plus uh, y squared and divide both sides uh, by one minus x. So this one minus x, is, one minus x is gonna come over here. So we get dx over one minus x. This one plus y squared is gonna come over here. So we're gonna get y over one plus y squared dy, just like that. So again, we took this one and divided by it to put it over here, took this one, divided by it, put it over here. Now we'll integrate both sides. Um, this will require some pretty easy substitutions. Um, I guess I'll, I'll show the work for them. So for this one here, I'll let u equal one minus x. So then du is equal to negative dx. Now there's no negative here in the integrand, so we'll just divide or multiply by negative one. So this is really negative du equals dx. So now making the full substitution on the left-hand side here, dx is negative du, so this is negative du, and the bottom piece here is simply u. And that's equal to, over here we can make another substitution. Let's use w. We'll let that be equal to one plus y squared. So then dw is going to be the derivative, so simply 2y dy. Right, the derivative of one is zero. Here we use the power rule. We don't have a two in the integrand, so let's divide it away. So we have one half dw equals uh, y dy. And so now we can pull out that one half. And so we have y dy is one half dw, which is written here, y dy one half dw, over w, which is one plus y squared. Integrating both of these, we're just gonna get logs, so it's pretty simple. This is negative ln absolute value of u equals one half ln absolute value of w plus our constant, which I'll call c. And um, that's almost it. u is one minus x, so let's go ahead and write that. So this is ln uh, one minus x equals one half ln, and then w was one plus y squared, one plus uh, y squared plus c. You could keep going, uh, you could probably, you could solve this for y squared, but I'm just gonna stop here. That's good enough. So yeah, just a, uh, a separable differential equation that doesn't look separable when you first see it, but the trick is to group together the dx's, group together the dy's, and then say, hey, wait a minute, can I separate it? And then once you get here, you see, once you get here, you realize that you actually can, right? Because you can simply divide away the one minus x, and it goes over here, divide away the one plus y squared, it goes over here, and then you have two simple integrals that you can do, and then you're done. Good luck.